All right, that's gonna be a quick video. YouTube, KRT Life. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. Had a quick, real weird issue with my Porsche. I was going to change the uh, air filter that usually sits about right here. And in the process of doing that, I was moving a little stuff around and then all of a sudden, this little piece right here, that typically sits right here, just broke. And what this is, it's a little part that connects, um, it's a little hose connector. And it's plastic and it gets brittle and it breaks. And I mean, this thing broke like a dried up twig. Like I didn't even touch it and it just snapped. And all of a sudden, water started shooting everywhere. So what it basically does is connects that hose right there. You can see it to this hose up here when this hose is usually turned down right there. And why Porsche didn't make this out of metal, I have no clue, but I'm about to go and make this out of metal. So I'd never have this issue again. So what I plan to do is drill this rest of this out and then find a little uh, small hose connector that will fit these hoses right here and um, connect it back. So that's my plan and replace these other little connect uh, hose clamps with some hose clamps that are easy to remove if I ever have to remove this again. I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, I really don't feel like wrenching today, but I really wanna show y'all this thing that I saw on Wren's List um, forum when I pulled up the part number for this right here because I was just gonna go ahead and go to the Porsche dealership in the morning and get the replacement part. And this part number is 996.106.226.52. And um, I was going to go ahead and just go to the dealership and buy this and then replace it in the morning. But then as soon as I put this part number in on Ren's list, they said that there is no point in trying to buy another one of these because these things break so easy and so often. You might as well just do this hack that I'm about to do now so you don't have to do this ever again in the time that you own this car. And what I did was I went to the local auto parts store in my area and I got this Dorman um, Nylon Fuel Line Union. And uh, this is, I think it's made out of some type of steel or aluminum or something like that, but it's metal. And the part number is 800-011, three-eighths universal, um, hose uh hose bibs or whatever you want to call these hose connectors and um i'm going to put these in the hoses where this thing used to sit in between and i'm going to drill a hole in between here on the top of this connector and then put this through there this part right here do this and maybe use some epoxy or something to uh make it stay i'm going to tr start off with the 5 16th um drill bit and just to see if it'll be able to get in if not i'm going to move up to three eighths and uh, get this thing in there, maybe epoxy or super glue it in place, and then reconnect all my hoses and put some coolant back in it. And this was the solution that I saw on Ren's List that was the uh, most popular one. All right, so after some wild experimentation with this part right here, trying to replicate what I saw on Ren's List on the online forum, I realized that structurally this thing is past its prime and there's no way I'm going to be able to save it. So what I made was this, which is pretty much a little piece of metal that has almost the same uh, drop in length as this piece right here. So what I'm going to do is put this part, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it through like that and that's gonna support this and keep this basically from touching the belt when everything is operating. And I'm gonna put the holes on the bottom and the holes on the top and then put the other screw through there to hold this to the uh, actual, um, what is that, the water pump or the, uh, yeah, the water pump or whatever that is right there. And yeah, should be able to call it a night, fingers and toes crossed, cause this was only supposed to take a few seconds. And now it's taking me a little bit longer. All right, and there you have it. You can see the bracket that I made right here. You can see where it connects the two uh, the hoses together with this little uh, hose connector, this metal hose connector that's in between. Hose clamps on there, everything's nice and tight. It's actually really solid. I mean, I wanted to keep the plastic piece to kind of still keep it, give it the OEM look, but that piece was beyond, beyond repair. So uh, yeah, everything's clearing. Nothing's touching any of the pulleys. Nothing's touching the belt. 
So now I got to do is just fill up my coolant and uh, yeah, crank this thing all back on up. Well, I got to put my airbox back too. The whole reason why this thing happened because I was trying to check this stupid air filter. All right, we're going to do a test crank and uh, check and make sure there's no leaks. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> that is fixed and repaired and done with. And uh, this part number once again is 996.something06.226.52. I'll put the link down here under me while I'm talking right now because I drilled through the part where the actual part number was on the original piece. And uh, yeah, so I just took this, that was done and broken, replaced it with this made my own bracket since this piece right here was so far gone and all i have now left is all these little broken pieces from where i had to dig these out of the hoses and clean everything up but now my car is back running i just need to uh finish burping the uh coolant system because uh, a little bit of air got in there because i lost a little bit of coolant i didn't lose that much coolant i probably lost like maybe half a cup of coolant maybe but yeah even still, you want to make sure you get all the air out and you burp it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. I just ran it a little bit tonight, real gently, uh, brought it almost up to temperature. And then I got the valve, the burp valve open. And then I'm going to check it again in the morning, add some more coolant and do that for the next like, you know, two or three days until I, uh, you know, feel like I have burped it thoroughly. But I'm your brother Reza. This is Carrot to Life, Carrot to Life, the why. Uh, really didn't feel like doing a vlog, but sometimes you have to do a vlog. And I hope that this vlog helps anybody else out there that might just randomly want to check their air filter or oil for some reason and break this stupid coolant hose. But it could have been worse. Could have been on the highway and this thing broke. So at least I was at home and it broke. All right, peace.